I got a question, Mr. Uh, man. Is, you know, how, how is it? Uh, how is it? You know, being a father at your age and being just having a little girl. I see you know, I see you sometime. But how is it? You know, on the holidays shit. when you see her, when it's free, when you free. Yeah. Oh shit! For my daughter, I'm always free. You feel me? Like I'm a full time father before yeah. rap, before the industry. Yeah. Like, you feel me? I'm I'm tuned in with real life, so. I'm always there for her. Just seeing her grow, understanding the holiday, bring joy to me, you know. And like, a lot of niggas don't do for their kids this generation. A lot of niggas can't do it. Some people can't get jobs. Some people, some niggas just, they prone to fail, you feel me? And I ain't <laughs> never had no father, so I always get everybody around me, definitely my kid, yeah. when I ain't high. So my friendship with her, my love, my father, my fatherhood, her, genuinely, you know. I ain't her friend, I'm her father. Ain't yeah, nothing like that feeling, man, when that little person needs you, bro. Yeah, you know, oh, like, that would keep me driving, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every day, like, when I was young, I felt it. Like, before I got locked up, I, I, I ain't had shit to give a fuck about. So it was like, I can be in the hood all day. I can get locked up and barned out or come home. You feel me? Do whatever. But now the little one, you feel me? It's like, I can't get no slip. Any slip count. Every you feel me? gotta be precise, That take from man. her. Yeah. And you feel yeah. raising a female this generation, I don't want her growing up to Megan. I don't want her growing up to none of that. The whole shit. I'd rather have a goddamn self made hustle. Yeah, like, I need my man. daughter to be a real queen. Man, shout out to Sam for speaking up on that on them um them so called hot girls or whatever, <laughs> man, that be teaching these little girls how to be hoes at an early age, man. Hold on, let me know. I don't you, give me give me bro. some backstory. I don't even listen, know about man, it. Let no, me know. There's no yeah, way I'm gonna right. raise a little girl to listen talking about some whack. Come on, bro. Oh, no. A real G, a real, listen, where I'm from, a real G ain't gonna teach his daughter how to be like that because he know what that leads to. He's want his daughter to be something great. Oh, you talking about like with the shit, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion culture Sarah like that? Changed, he actually spoke when he was like, yeah, bro, you yeah, don't want you your daughter to like that. Let us know. He from yeah, that. Just, I mean, ain't no disrespect to them. As artists, they great. They know how to sell. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? They great. I, I, I fuck with they hustle, they grind, but as a father, why would I let my child listen to what? Yeah. As a father, why would I let my child say body eyes? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck how catching it is. Mm -hmm. It's catching, it's deteriorating your mind. Yeah. You need to be playing some numbers in your head. You need to be setting some goals, you feel me? Because how we growing up, shit could come to an end. I watched the pandemic happen, I never thought I'd see that shit. <clears throat> my daughter gonna see worse and shit's only getting worse. So she gotta be ready for this shit. You feel they growing up in the mask age, man. That's crazy. Yeah. So, so as as an artist, um, a successful artist, what, what, where is the boundary of playing that fine line of making a hit for the for the bag or staying true to what you you know you believe in? Because it seems like it's a lot of artists that don't mind just I'll make a wop, you know what I'm saying, and just deal with the repercussions as it is. But they don't realize their influence leads to daughters, sisters, you know, women that are looking at this and, and feel like that may necessarily be the way that they should embrace their sexuality and things of that such but when you're a father and you have to raise your daughter like what what, what can as an artist what what type of influence can you say in, in that situation when you don't want to do it you got to say it you feel me if that's what's selling why not you feel me so some people got to do it like that the ones who don't the ones who Stay real, stay solid, stay in them, and when we fall into it, they don't make it. You gotta use this shit as a business journey. Right. You feel me? Like, music, you ain't gotta just rap to feel like you're gonna blow, you'll be number one in the world. Cause to be number one, it's a lot of bullshit to be number one, you feel me? And probably yeah. some shit you can't live with. Yeah. So, you feel me? It's better all jumping in this shit, getting on for the rap, getting on, make a couple hits, then getting to the business journey. As a mm -hmm. black male, that's successful. Mm hmm. You feel me? As a black female, that's successful. Some people who want to go there, who are willing to take it there for that amount, for that dollar, they'll do that. They ain't worried about the kid. They, they thinking like the kids shouldn't be listening to their music. But if the kids do, shit, they can't make them stop. But Why Samba, stop you, they money? You know what's real, Samba? Well, you, you know for real, they know that too, that when you go in these neighborhoods, ain't nobody watching what their kid watching, bro. So they really, they know at the end of the day, and some people be caught up in their journey and be about them. 
Yeah. They forget about that because they now they came from nothing too. So they see that they got a great path. So it is about them. And they be caught up in them deals too, bro. They got yeah. to, they be slave to deal. Yeah, be so much shit and that's going what's great about you, bro. I know your journey. I watch you, bro. You make what you want to make. And you got a good team of people, man. Shout out Black Heart Music Group, bro. Hell For yeah. real. Shout out Guapa, man. Real, yeah, real team of dudes, team, bro. You know, like... We doing this shit like independent. I ain't signed a major label deal. I ain't had no help from a major. I've been independent. You feel me? My label, Black Heart, my team, everybody who with me, they jamming it down with me. So like, as I work, I don't just work. As I work, we all work. We all get on. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I feel that. You can be in the cut for a little bit, but when you do CG sandwich, you gonna see his whole team. That's what's up. You know, everybody who helped me build the shit can't do this shit alone. No, and if you're yeah. doing this shit, I suggest you do it right, cause this rap shit costs. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Now, now, get into this rap. Um, get into the rap shit, man. You've been doing this for a long time. I seen video videos of you as a little kid rapping, man. Like, when did it start, man? Like, take me to, like, that first rhyme, that, that influence, that first thing that made you feel like, I can do this, like. Um, my mama used to rap. Okay. You feel me? So, like, what's up? when I first heard my mama's song, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like, yeah, shout out gotta, mom, dude. Shout out mom. Shout out yes, dude, sir. man. I said, damn, you got to show me how to make a rap. You feel me? I want to rap with my niggas and shit outside. <laughs> <laughs> so she helped me. And that's make hard, a rap. Yeah, that's she hard. Did. That's hard. So she helped me make a rap. She gave me the first line. I did everything else. So since then, I just had a love for it by me getting incarcerated and really start to buckle down on myself. Mm -hmm. By that being a uh, talent I had, I'm thinking, shit, maybe I can take this shit. Maybe I can do this shit to take me somewhere else in life I need to go. I don't want to be a Michael Jackson. I don't want to be a Kanye West or Jay Z. But if I can do this shit, let's do this shit. Let's get this bag from this shit. <laughs> so sure. like, but music always been in my soul. Like I'm a soulful person. So to be soulful, you gotta feel that music. You can't just be bumping no bullshit saying you soulful, yeah. cause it ain't gonna match up. The energy ain't gonna match up. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I listen to everybody shit on turn, on turn nothing down. But my general pick of music is music for me. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, what is, what your lives, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to get to the music. What is music for you? Because with your versatility of, of, of your music, like you can get into some real gang shit, some street shit, but then you can switch it up. Like I can tell that you're influenced by a lot of different artists. I really want to know, like, where does that influence come from? Um, my life. I ain't influenced by like too many artists since I really got in the industry because I see like. A lot of shit that I wouldn't do. A lot of flaws, you feel me? So everything in my music I talk about is shit that, you feel me, real life shit. I know they go, I grew up from the bottom. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. You feel me? Like, like Richmond ain't, ain't, no, ain't no South City. We ain't no weak city. So you feel me? The shit I talk about is shit I done seen. The gang banging, the shooting, the robbing. I done seen this shit, this shit going on every day, you feel me? I ain't doing this shit no more. So I can still put that out in my store and you can relate to it because you going through the same shit mm -hmm. wherever you from. Right. Everybody go through struggle. Everybody feel times when they up. So in my music, I basically just, I fuck around, I feel myself. However my life going for real, I'm going to really put some of that in my song, you feel mm -hmm. me? I can make some shoot em up, bang, bang shit. I can make some real life shit. But if I tell you some shit on my bang bang shit, that's some shit that happened or going on sure. in the street. Yeah. You feel me? That's a story because it's real life. This is what mm -hmm. people want to hear. Yeah. So, so who who do you listen to? Shit. <laughs> well, if I get up and I, I wake up in the morning, I throw on. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna bump some brain. Oh, I'm gonna throw on some brain for you. First, get my little groove. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Who? That's, I'm, 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 I'm fucking with brain. I feel like you ain't fucking with brain. You don't know what's going on. Right Hold us. Let us let us know about brain real quick. Yeah, what's, what's what's the track? If if you don't know about brain, if you don't know about brain, I'm bumping one night only first. You okay. Feel go okay. Go on one night only about brain. Throw that okay. on the playlist. Okay. Then you're gonna bump cloudy. You gonna feel it. Cloudy, you gotta get clouded. You see cloudy, where it's you going? Feel it, yeah. You feel it. Then you gotta bump rehab. Get you on your shit. Mm. You gonna fuck with my boy. You know? Hell yeah. Is that something that's all? Is that right now? Yeah, that's all about. Brick. Brick. Yeah. 
Yeah, he just got some streams off of this. Yeah, he listens yeah. to a lot of old hey, yo, school in his life, so I'll be check checking the sound. I know who his playlist is right now, you know? Oh, so. yeah, I'm going to put y'all down on that playlist, man. Y'all yeah, man. Shout out. Hey, yo, Spotify, it's Apple Music, yo, get, get Rocking it. with your lady, you can do whatever with my playlist. You're going to rock out. All right, so hold on. All right, so look, it's a Friday, right? All right. And I, I got her. Like, we in the rhythm. We about to go out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Picking her up. Dinner's right. We about to go back to the crib. What am I playing in the car on the way back to the crib? You got to play that. You got to throw that raw wave on back. Oh, okay. You, okay. You got to me rolling in that 500 bin. <laughs> hey. You gotta throw that joint on you. Okay, okay, okay. From that ride, then you take her to that Drake. Mm. You go and throw some Drake on for okay. her, slow her okay. down. You feel me? Understand? Just let Drake talk to her. Now you gotta let that Chris talk to her. Y'all done had some Drake. Y'all done had some Drake. You say, man, who talk to him? Chris, hey, give Chris. me one of yours, though. Chris, you like him, what you was like? Hey, play that shit real quick. Oh, I want you to play. I'm wishing on a star. <laughs> real talk. Right I'm wishing on a star. Reminiscing. Nah, play reminiscing first. Yeah. Okay. okay. Play reminiscing first. Okay. Get her in her little bad bitch vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, that sir. Way. Yes, sir. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that.